start off our look with our Milani eyeshadow primer. I'm going to place that all over our lid and the bottom lash line. Everywhere where we're going to apply some eyeshadow. Next I'm going to apply some of my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast. Just a little bit just to get rid of some discoloration I have up here on my lid and so that my colors can pop a little bit better against my skin tone. The next thing I'm going to do is apply my transition color and I'm going to mix two coastal scent hot pots. Uh, this one is Violetta and this one is CM08. So I'm going to mix these two together and that's going to be my transition color. The next thing I'm going to do is apply a base to my lid. This is from Ruby Kisses. This one is called Violet Shimmer and I used it before. Uh, in a tutorial, I think that was my Missy Lynn palette tutorial. You guys can check that out. But I love it. It's very creamy. The next thing I'm going to do is apply my pigment. And this is one of the Sasha pigments. It's called Pure Blue Shimmer. And it is a beautiful iridescent color, kind of like a duochrome. You just have to see it, and I hope my camera will do it justice. And as you can see, it is a beautiful, beautiful pigment. But right now I'm going to use the shade Edgy Eggplant and that's a very deep purple. It's very popular. Alright, I'm going to use that in the outer corners. And I see the fallout but I can't mess with it right now. But look at how pretty that looks around that blue. Isn't that pretty? And when I go back in with my transition color, that's that pinky violet color, it's going to be gorgeous. Now if you feel comfortable using your blending brush on the inner corner, you go right ahead because we're going to place the same color on the inner corner. But some people work better with a fluffier brush on the outer corner and more like a pencil brush on the inner corner. Now I'm going to take my Sigma pencil brush and I'm going to go into my inner corner. Alright, so that's what we should look like so far. So you're taking your blending brush and your pencil brush and you're dragging that deep purple into that blue pigment. And you're really blending out those edges and making it look nice and smoky and hazy and blended and beautiful and all of that jazz. And then we're going to take our, transi our transition color. We mixed our Violetta and our CM08 from Coastal Scents. And we blend it around that. Beautiful, beautiful. Making those eyes pop out at you. Honestly, this is your last chance to put a little bit more pigment in the middle because once you apply your liner, you're not going to want to go back into that pigment and create that fallout that I have here on my cheeks. So if you want to go back into the pigment, now is your chance to brighten up that blue just a tiny bit. I'm just going to brighten it up a little, little, little bit. For my brow bone highlight, I'm going to use a color from Coastal Scents. It's called Wishy Washy. Let me make sure that's it. Yes. It's called Wishy Washy. Kind of like a gray toned color. But it looks pretty bright on my skin tone. I'm going to just place it in the highest point of my brow. And I can also use this color to kind of blend out what I have there already. I'm going to apply our liner and I'm going to use the CoverGirl Intensify Me Liner.
For my mascara, I'm going to add a little bit of the CoverGirl uh, mascara. This one is the Super Sizer. I'm going to start at the base and curl. Now I'm going to go away and apply some of these uh, lashes. These are Beauty Supply Store. A lot of people ask me where I get these lashes from. They're called Response Remy Premium Virgin Hair Natural Lashes. And these are in style number 106. And they look like that. I'm gonna go, go ahead and start them. working on the lash, the bottom lash line rather. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some black liner to my waterline, and this is from Milani. The next thing I want to do, I'm gonna take that same pencil brush. I wiped it off a bit. I'm gonna use Violetta on my lash line. In the lower lash line, right there in the outer corner, I'm going to apply that deep, dark, edgy eggplant. And Jordana Cosmetics recently came out with some colored mascaras. Uh, right now, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colors. Okay, they look like this. I have them here in a bag. I do have a blog post about them, but I decided to pull them out and play around with them in this video so I'm going to use you will have Opto to apply, apply them a few times to get you know that pigmentation that you want but once it's on it's on it does not move it lasts me all day not only that I really had to scrub to get it off I really had to use a, um, a good makeup wipe to get it off the only change I would make to this mascara is maybe a smaller one so people with tiner eyes can or smaller shorter eyelashes can get in there good without transferring that color i got that mascara to work for me what i'm going to do is a separate video all together to show you guys how i got that to work because i really had to glop it on but you can see the pigmentation is insane so if you want to do something different that you're not going to see anywhere else you know everybody kind of sticks to black um, mascara. This would be a fun, fun, fun thing to do for the summer and for the rest of spring. So I'm definitely going to come back like in within the next two videos early this week. And I'm going to show you guys how I got it to work for me, okay? All right, guys. So now I'm going to go away and apply my foundation. I'm going to allow, allow this uh, mascara to truly dry because I don't want to get anything mixed up. I really want it to dry. Once it dries, I know for a fact it stays put. So I'm going to allow it to dry and then I'm going to put on my foundation and I'll be back with you guys to show you the completed look. Alrighty Thank guys, you. in my inner corners, I went ahead, I thought I was recording but I wasn't, but I extended my wing in my inner corners and I'm just going to add a little bit of white to the inner corner and I'm using my NYX uh, Milk Pencil and just going to use a very tiny little eyeliner pencil and tap that white in there. All right, and how about a little fun on that outer wing? Let's just add a little bit of white NYX pencil right there on the outer wing. So those are some super fun eyes and you see I completed my face and I'm going to add on a little bit of lipstick and I'll be right back with my completed look. Stay tuned. All right guys and this is your completed look. And I thank you guys for tuning in today. On my lips, I'm wearing my Night Moth Lip Liner by MAC. And I'm also wearing my Lorac Lip Gloss in the shade Fixin'. This is one of Lorac's uh, Alter Ego Lip Glosses. And it has vitamins and minerals and all types of different things in it. It's a very good wearing lip gloss. I really like it a lot. I'll leave the link where I did a complete review on my blog below. And I did it... Um, with two shades so you can see the other shade on me it's called showgirl so you guys check that out 
and that's it so this was fun this was very fun i'm still gonna come back and show you guys how i did that mascara it was a bit messy at first but i got the hang of it i'm gonna come back and do a complete review and how i worked with that mascara to get that pigmentation i'll show you guys i don't want to get into it because i don't want this video to turn into a review for that particular item so we're gonna do a whole new review with that and then I'm gonna show you the other colors so I hope you guys like something fun I know it's not for everybody believe me I know I know but it's something fun okay and that is it and if you would like to see a review on this unit that's on my head this is not my hair this is a unit that will be up shortly and as soon as it's up i'm going to link it in this video as well so you guys stay tuned for that cyber kisses and see you guys in the next video bye